a little bit more sun earlier today, but we're starting to feel some thunderstorms rolling into the area. Let's talk about what is ahead for us. Monday into Tuesday, landfall as a tropical storm late Monday, potentially a category one hurricane. That's still possible. Coastal winds of 40 to 70 miles an hour, isolated tornadoes along the coastal and eastern North Carolina communities. Heavy rainfall, some three to six inches in eastern North Carolina. As for our area, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, two to four inches of rain. And we'll talk about what that means for us in a little more detail coming up. Right now, we do have the showers and thunderstorms here across the area. You can see rain over Lexington and Moxville, a thunderstorm over northern Davidson County, and some heavier rain over towards Summerfield, too. There's a cold front that's pushing in here, and it is creating a few showers and thunderstorms, and it might actually create an isolated, severe thunderstorm. We're in that marginal risk zone from the mountains all the way to the triad, and we might see a few of those popping up. So we'll keep a close eye on it. I'm even going to hang in on to a chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the early overnight. It has been breezy today, so that definitely helped with the heat. The winds out of the west and southwest right now at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, where we've had some rain, a good bit cooler, reasonable at 77. Our high today was 92, currently at 91, with a feels like temperature in Greensboro of 96. They've got triple digit feels like temperatures in the eastern part of the state and bracing for the brunt of Isaias. And we do have a tropical storm warning out from the coast all the way to Raleigh. We also have flash flood watches out along I-95, also along 40, 85 into our area. And for severe weather tomorrow, the greatest threat for storms with this Monday into Tuesday is going to be along the coastline. Here is the storm right now. Most of the rain and wind is staying offshore. Right now, 70 mile per hour winds moving north northwest at nine miles an hour. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll be talking about this storm potentially getting set to make landfall sometime tomorrow night, maybe overnight into early Tuesday morning, somewhere along the North or South Carolina coast, it looks like right now. And then the I-95 corridor could get hit with some pretty strong winds as well as the heavy rain as the storm races off to the north and east. So there's your track and you can see the clouds associated with this weather system. Well, look at the rain right now too. Heaviest rains have stayed offshore. So you're looking at all the high rainfall totals out over the Atlantic. So that is good news. As for the winds, we're going to watch the winds staying mainly offshore as it approaches the Carolinas. The strongest winds are in orange. So you're going to see those potentially borderline hurricane force winds across eastern North Carolina early Tuesday morning. So we're going to keep a real close eye on that because that could take down trees. So that again in our area, occasional gusts of 20 to 30 miles an hour, two to four inches of rain in the triad from some tropical showers and storm bands. And a few of those storms may have some strong winds. And we're talking about Monday night into early Tuesday. So you're going to watch the map here showing some of the heavy rains being forced up the mountains, especially tomorrow night into early Tuesday. You can see a lot of that heavy rain coming in. So here is our forecast. We are in anticipating that we're going to be seeing temperatures a little cooler, mid 80s. Rain chances pretty significant, 70, 80, 90 percent. High of 81 in the foothills tomorrow and a high of 76 in the mountains as the rains start to approach. There's your seven day forecast. It is right on par for early August with highs in the upper 80s and a tropical system to deal with.